been attending this school called Ola Baptist Academy throughout my first through seventh grade. And everywhere, everywhere I go, I had to keep a Bible on me under my desk. Every every Wednesday, the entire the entire school had had to go to church. Church to be you know, you know to, to read passages of the Bible and sing songs. And there was also church on Wednesday night and Sunday and Sunday morning, which I had to attend to. So th throughout the, throughout those years, um, I was taught I was taught many many passages in the Bible. The most one I've been taught is from is from Genesis, where where the teachers try to try to teach their students to view view their children or to view their students as if the world was created by God Himself. So. In the beginning, God created the heaven and earth, and the earth was without form and void. The darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved it upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called it night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. <coughs> and God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. And God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth. And the gathering together of the waters called he seas. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth, and it was so. And the earth brought forth grass, and her yielding seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself after his kind. And God said, and God saw that it was good. And the evening and morning were the third day. And God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. And let them be for signs and seasons and for days and years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give upon, to give light upon the earth, and it was so. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth, and to rule over the day and over the night, and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw 